get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life Hey you guys, it's your girl Star and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So, today's video is basically IVF transfer prep. You guys heard me say it right. We finally made it to this step. I'm so excited. Ugh, I can't believe we're actually here. So, I just left the gym, so that's why I'm dressed like this. Um just wanted to talk to you guys real quick of what's coming up and what is next. I have my hysteroscopy um, appointment, well not appointment, surgery on the 23rd of this month, which is really next week, like literally next week. So those of you who are brand new to my channel and this is your first time here, let me give you a quick recap. My name is Star, I'm engaged to my partner, Honest. We've been together for six years. When we started this journey, initially, we did seven IUIs, unsuccessful, three IVF cycles, which is also unsuccessful. One of those cycles, the last one I had, they were able to retrieve my eggs finally, but none of them fertilized. So we decided to switch things up, try reciprocal, which meaning I will carry her embryos. I will be the one pregnant, but genetically there will be hers, but there realistically there are babies <laughs> so i get to carry her mini me her bun my oven and it's oh my god it's literally i couldn't have it any other way so my partner had her egg retrieval and during her egg retrieval they retrieved 13 eggs out of those 13 eggs nine was mature eight fertilized and then we have seven blast embryos okay the best beautiful embryos that we could ever wish for we have seven embryos seven is our lucky number i'm so blessed i'm so excited like seriously so this is why we're doing this vlog because we're preparing ourselves to transfer one of her embryos into my uterus so this is like my second time having this procedure i had it last year in june i believe and when I had it last year, there was nothing really wrong except for my block tube and it was trying to open it and they couldn't. So that was unsuccessful. But this time they're just making sure I don't have any fibroids, polyps, anything that can affect baby embryo to implant. And they're also doing a biopsy to make sure I don't have inflammation. Um, so I'm excited, that's getting done. I'm currently on birth control right now. And my doctors say if everything is good with the biopsy results and stuff, they're going to keep me on a birth control and then start me right to transfer. I also get this question a lot when it comes to my weight. Some people was like, what happened? I see you gain weight like during your fertility or like what happened? I thought, you know, keto was supposed to help you get pregnant. It helped a lot of women get pregnant, but I was completely 101 million percent on keto. I was literally the best shape of my life. We started started fertility journey and it did not work for me. So again, what worked for others, what might not work for you. So I've been on fertility like literally a year and a half straight, honestly. And all those medications, all those hormones, all those shots, birth control, all of that. And then COVID, so I couldn't really work out as much as I want to. And just everything taking place and all the bloating and water weight and all that can help you gain weight. So, yes, I have gained weight during my fertility journey. and But to me, it's mostly is I'm healthy and I'm eating correctly. And I'm not even going to lie to you. It's really hard for me to drop off this weight compared to when I wasn't on treatment. Before, my weight dropped like this, but now because I'm on medications, I'm on treatments, and it's just not falling off. So if you're going through fertility treatments and you're gaining weight, do not feel bad for yourself. Do not feel like, oh my God, these 10 pounds won't go anywhere. They will drop eventually. I mean, just be kind to yourself and be kind to others if you've seen them gain weight because, again, you do not know what anybody's going through and some people just don't want to talk about it. So just be kind. The next time you guys see me, will be before or after my hysteroscopy appointment and then i'll tell you guys the results of that right, you guys so another quick update i received my transfer medications 
So I have syringes, I have needles, I have pedestrian oil, I have something new that I never really heard of. I have to do more research called the S just I know it's estrogen. I know a lot of people take estradiol during their transfers and stuff like that, but mostly pills. I never heard of the shots. I think it's called Dell Estrogen or something. Never heard of it. If you ever use this, comment down below and let me know how it feels. I know you take it every day. Not every day, but like every other day or something like that. So that's new. And then I have my Lupron. But I mostly have is really like needles, changing needles. Because the same needles that you draw is not the same needles that you inject. And the only needle I just draw and inject will be this one. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So... I have my procedure tomorrow for his recipe and we'll check back in then. So it's time, time for my his recipe surgery. We'll see the other day. Just what? Shouldn't take long. Touch back with you guys when I'm finished. The inside of the uterus looks normal, no polyps this time. No polyps? No polyps. <laughs> oh, no scar tissue, no nothing. No scar tissue, nothing. Yes. Oh. Ready for some babies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, so I guess with the biopsy, we send that to pathology to make sure there's no infection. Oh, okay. Yeah, the report will come back next week. All right, thank you. Okay, so you are all set to go. Thank you. You've done it before. You may have some cramping. You can do Advil or Tylenol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yay. So you hear from us next week. Oh, yes. All thank you. Have a great week. <laughs> I never even showed y'all. So they even gave me a printout of my surgery. So... At first, I was like, what is this? And he said, you don't see nothing, right? I was like, no. He was like, exactly. Nothing. So, everything looks good. Just waiting on the results. Just wanted to show you guys. This is pretty cool. You know, so the baby could attach to anything here. Hey, you guys. So, I want to give you a quick update. So, I got my hysteroscopy and biopsy results. And everything is perfectly okay. Got the green light, so tomorrow we start our Lupron injection. <sighs> it's officially transfer time. I want to quickly show you these beautiful cards that I had got from Ipsy that I use and read every day of my journey and it brings me peace. It's like two different outcomes. If, for example, my womb is healthy and will bring a baby and then the other side says my baby feels love. So it's like becoming and when you're pregnant, which I love. So let me show you a few that I'm reading currently. So these are the cards that I'm reading that I got from Ipsy, my pregnancy IVF affirmation cards. This one says, my lining of my uterus is perfect right now. Our embryo will implant perfectly in my lining. Every effort I make brings me closer to my baby. I feel like this. I read this every single day. Like every day I know I get closer to our child. My baby will be born at the right time and place. I'm worthy of all good things. I live in the present moment and I'm confident of the future. I am at peace with the outcome of this transfer. So yeah, these match my situation perfectly at this moment. So my doctor told me I can stop my birth control. She said my last day was yesterday. I can finally throw these away. I'm still currently on Lupron. I've been on Lupron for five days while on birth control. And I'm currently waiting on my cycle. I've been spotting like every day for the past week. So I'm pretty sure my cycle will start in the next two days or so. But I can finally throw these away and I cannot wait to document this. Here we go. Today is baseline day. 
So I started my cycle two days after I finished the birth control. And today is cycle day four for me because they were closed yesterday because it was a Sunday. And we're going to see how my urine line is looking. And if everything looks good, I get to start the estrogen shot tomorrow. So, you guys, it is baseline. I still am on Lupron, and I will still be on Lupron, I believe, all the way up to transfer. But, you guys, it's it's happening. Like, I'm so excited. So, of course, I'm going to take y'all with me. So, let's go. Alrighty. <laughs> it's been a while since I seen Wanda. <laughs> Relax your legs for me just a little bit more, okay? Hey you guys so i just wanted to quickly check in with you and let you know the update of my baseline so my nurse called me and she was like everything is perfectly fine my urine lining is thin that's how they want it at baseline for a frozen egg transfer and my ovaries is completely silent so that is perfect that's all they need to know they did blood work also as you guys see in the clip and they checked to make sure I wasn't pregnant. They checked my estradiol and they checked something else that I can't remember. No, I think that was the only two they checked. Just my estradiol and make sure I wasn't pregnant, of course. And I start my medication of estrogen tomorrow. And I'm also doing low dose aspirin every day. So that is today's update. Oh, and I forgot to mention the estrogen shot is just like the progesterone shot. So it's intramuscular. So it's in the butt. Fun. I was prepared for progesterone shots. I wasn't prepared to do the estrogen shot. Like, in the butt. Fun. But all for baby, I'll do it. Hey, you guys. So it is later in the evening. And Faye is going to give me this estradiol shot of estrogen, basically. I'm about to load it up right now in a needle. And then I'm cooking dinner. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of what kind of meals I eat today. I already have a video of what I eat for fertility. But I'm also going to show you guys of what I'm eating for transfer. So, but let's just do the shot.
bank right now to do my first urine lining check and if everything goes well they might up the dose of my estrogen that I've been taking I'm still currently on Lupron and let's see how thick this lining is looking like looking good mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Did, what medications did you take? Are you on estrays, Lupron? I'm, I'm on Lupron currently and the Elsidrin. Okay, good. That shot. Yep. You guys, so I just left my ultrasound, as you guys saw, and blood work. And I know that I'm supposed to tell you, but I'm already eight, I don't know, centimeters or millimeters. That little hamburger thing that they looking for, for your lining i already have it like this is crazy she's like you're already ready let's see what your blood work and stuff looking like don't say nothing but it might be sooner than later <laughs> y'all my body's finally cooperating i'm y'all it could be happening sooner than later i was estimating like two weeks but it could be like maybe in a week i don't know we'll see what happens when they call me so y'all, a few things I feel like help my urine lining get so thick already is basically pomegranate juice. I drink a lot of pomegranate juice. It really tastes really good to me. It's not as bitter. Um, and I drink, not drink, but I eat Brazil nuts, like three nuts every other day. And I've just been healthy. I drink a lot of smoothies. I know they say when you're like the day of transfer and until your beta, don't drink nothing cold. But I've been drinking a lot of smoothies to like give me all the nutrients and all the stuff that I'm not probably eating on daily because I barely eat as much. I kind of fast, like I still fast. And I know it's not as good when you're doing fertility, but I just can't help it. I just don't like to eat so much. I don't like to feel that extra fullness, but I'm going to my fullness and I'm in line of Chick-fil-A trying to get some breakfast before I go to work. But <laughs> yeah, like I'll eat this and won't eat to probably like six o'clock in the afternoon, honestly. Hey you guys, so it's later in the afternoon and I recently got off work. I'm on my way now to my acupuncturist um, because it's transfer time. i always been doing acupuncture. I've been doing acupuncture for the past year and a half. It's been very relaxing for me. Um, I have a lot of pros when it comes to acupuncture and it does help with the flow and stuff like that. Since I have a transfer next week, I wanted to get the ball rolling. So I have a session today. And then I have two sessions next week, including the day of transfer. I don't know if that gives you enough time. No. Kind of slow to grow. So. Mm -hmm. It's like an ancient Korean protocol that works amazing for bringing blood flow to the ears. Oh. Mm You said a water point? Yeah, like, um, so tonifying the kidney, but we have to understand that the kidney system, it um, helps with fertility, holding a pregnancy. And um, the other side is the ancient protocol for bringing blood to the uterus, but then the two together have a special relationship together. Works really well. Just wanted to quickly show you guys what else I'm eating for fertility when I eat to go. This is some salmon, cauliflower rice, mushrooms, chicken, tomatoes, broccoli. There's some kale under there also. Just a quick glance. Basically, like I said, I'm on a Mediterranean diet for fertility and this is what I'm eating. So quick tip for my estrogen shot, it is really, really thick, okay? This oil is so thick. So I just take a heating pad and I warm it up first before I inject the shot. So you guys, another update. My nurse called me. She said my urine lining is perfect. The shape of it, everything is right. 
it's really thick. <laughs> um, she said my estrogen level was exactly where I needed to be. So she's telling me to take another shot. Stay on my medicine, of course. Take another shot of the estrogen today. Come back Thursday for pre-op and ultrasound blood work. And that following Thursday, we will be transferring. Like, to actually know when you're going to get pregnant. Like, I actually know the day I'm going to get pregnant. Like, we're actually transferring. I don't think I understand. We're actually transferring okay we finally got into the step and this is like wow i'm just completely in shock right now like i'm still taking it in that we're gonna be transferring Second ultrasound and pre-op for transfer. Let's do this. Now the luxury. You doing okay? Oh wow! Look at that. That is a beautiful endometrium. Since you're recording, you can like take a photo oh. and uh, you can Google, what should my endometrium look like? That's Here. what it should look like? That's what it's going to pop up as. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we're going to do your pre-op today. Okay. The only thing that can go awry is I'm going to check an estrogen and progesterone. Mm -hmm. If the estrogen drops, I'm going to get a better picture actually. If the estrogen drops, <clears throat> or the um, progesterone is high, then you're canceled. Because obviously if it's not the right timing, we don't want to do the transfer. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, based upon the way everything looks here, it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh no, I just looked at it too, but I'm disappointed to tell you that I don't remember off the top of my head, so we can look that up for you, okay? Okay. Just looked at it not even a minute ago, but it's escaping me right now. <laughs> Should have said it out loud. I know. <laughs> I think I'm just getting old. Merlin, tell me what medications you're taking, my dear. I'm taking Del Estrogen, mm -hmm. Baby Aspirin, mm -hmm. and Lupron. And that's it? Mm -hmm. Handle anything else? All right, so this says continue the Del Estrogen 0 0.3 mLs every three days. Mm -hmm. You take an aspirin. Mm -hmm. Low dose aspirin, um, 81 milligrams every day. Continue that. Continue the Lupron five units every morning. Mm -hmm. Don't stop until we tell you to. So 24th is that tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. You're gonna start progesterone and oil one half ml between six and eight p.m. So we know where the del estrogen goes because that's. So the Del Estrogen, do I take that today? Because I took it on Monday. When the next day I take Del Estrogen? Because I took Thursday, it today. Today, that's so why I take it today? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's not changing any. Okay. All right. So the progesterone in oil is very, very thick. It's thicker than the Del Estrogen. Mm -hmm. So you're going to use this pink needle to draw it up. And the first night you're going to, uh, tomorrow night, the 24th, you're going to draw up one half ml. So it's this flat plunger, plunger part next to the one half, the big line next to one half. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you'll draw that up, take that out of the vial. And then once you have it out of the vial, bring the medicine from in here to in here. So you'll have oil and air and then change the needle. So you don't waste that amount of del estrogen. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And then push the air. Once you change the needle, push the air back out, and you should be right back at the half ml. And then you'll get that, get that in your rear. Okay. You're gonna get it every night, though. Every night. And this is gonna be every night. <laughs> yes. Now, t on the 25th, you're gonna increase the progesterone oil to one ml, so twice as much here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then every night after that is one ml. 
Okay. All right. So it'll draw up really fast and easy with this pink needle or pink whatever tipped needle because it's so big, but it's not going to come out real fast. So um, when this is being injected, um, you can push, push, push as fast and hard as you want. It is not going to go in very fast. Okay. Because this needle is so much thinner. Mm -hmm. All right. So remember at the top, we said continue the loop run until further notice. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to do loop run here, loop run here, and then you'll do loop run on the 26 and that's your last loop run injection. Oh, okay. All right. So you would can still, still continue the dough estrogen 0 0.3 every three days. You still continue the, as the aspirin every day. Okay. So I'm taking it today. So the next time I take this will be Monday. Is it on Monday? Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay, so then here on out is, is progesterone oil, 1 ml, 1 ml, and your del estrogen, 0 0.3 every three days. Um, on the 28th, you're going to begin your Pepsid twice a day, your Claritin once a day. That is right here. Okay. What is this exactly? Pepsid is an over-the-counter medicine that is used. She's using it for an antihistamine protocol mm -hmm. just to, to help give you every chance of oh. interfering with implantation. Oh, so I could just pick that up from a regular These are over-the-counter. Okay. Yeah, Pepsid is more in the stomach product. That's what aisle. I think it is, yeah. And um, Claritin in the allergy yeah. aisle. So you'll continue those through 12 weeks of pregnancy, all three of those. Okay. Oh. So all I right. Take that once a day. Okay. On the 30th is your embryo transfer. I think that's Thursday, mm -hmm. isn't it? You should be with Dr. Jaffe. 12 o'clock, arrive at 1145 downstairs. Begin drinking fluids one hour prior to the transfer. You must have a full bladder and it needs to be miserably full miserably yes like not just it. not just yeah i gotta go i think it's gotta be so bad that you are like almost crying <laughs> it's, it's terrible um she's sending a valium tablet to your pharmacy so make sure you pick that up and bring it with you to the transfer and they'll tell you when to take it downstairs valium is just going to help relax your the muscles so that um there's not so much cramping going on when they introduce that catheter to in the uterus to deposit the embryo. Okay, you're not allowed to drive yourself home because you're taking the um, Valium. Someone has to drive you home. If you need anything for pain, regular strength or extra strength Tylenol, no, ibuprofen, Motrin, Advil, you are taking aspirin already. So you're taking the one aspirin, low dose aspirin. That's all we want you to take is that one that you've been taking okay, okay? no anaproxyl leave any no NSAIDs you continue that all right once you get home restrict yourself to light activity for five days refrain from heavy lifting or heavy housework such as vacuuming or grocery shopping you can walk around as needed but refrain from extra exertion such as shopping malls um, amusement parks etc also avoid hot tubs sunbathing and heating pads Okay. So um, you can return to work with the above restrictions. After the five days, yeah, you can work and stuff. I wouldn't lift anything heavy just because you're working so hard to get this far. Mm -hmm. Let somebody else lift the heavy things. You don't have okay. to do it. Um, call if you experience increased temperature greater than 100.4, heavy vaginal bleeding or pain. This would be like no orgasms until after the pregnancy test. Okay. <laughs> because that contracts the uterus and yeah. we're not wanting that. Continue the progesterone and oil, one ml every night. Um, continue del estrogen, 0 0.3 mls every three days. Do not stop the progesterone or the del estrogen unless we tell you to. You have a pregnancy test scheduled for the 12th, should be a Tuesday at 8 a.m. in the Winter Park office. If the pregnancy test is positive, you're gonna continue del estrogen and progesterone at the same doses. Do not stop either one if you experience PMS, top symptoms, spotting, or bleeding. Okay. If the pregnancy test is negative, stop all, we'll tell you to stop the medications. 
and you should get a period in two to 10 days usually. All the work has been done for me. There's an embryo created. We've got you on medicines. We've got you aligning perfect. I should be pregnant. Mm -hmm. There's a, like a 50, 60% chance. They might not that, stay. Yeah. yeah, I know. So or 50%, 50 to 60% that it, you will get pregnant, but that's still 40 to 50% chance that you won't. So I wanted to keep that in mind. Give you a fair one. I remember Dr. Lloyd telling me that, and that was 29 years ago. He told oh me gosh. that, and those, those words stuck in my head. Anyway, so we're gonna thaw one embryo, and remember I said if it didn't survive, they'll, they'll thaw another one, okay? Mm-hmm. But that doesn't usually happen. So let me get you to sign here. Um, saying that yes, you agree. That's the plan. Okay. Okay, man. Okay. okay. All right. So these are for you. The instructions to take home. Thank you. You are welcome. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. So I don't have no other appointment until transfer. I just come back on Tuesday. Come Thursday. back for the transfer on next Thursday, and then you have the pregnancy test, blood test. Done. Otherwise, no other appointments. We do not plan on calling you today with any um, information. We plan on what I just gave you being the plan. Okay. But for some reason, the estrogen dropped and the progesterone went up. Well, that's a different story. You'll get a call. But otherwise, don't plan on hearing from anybody. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. All right. So this is what's going to be on top. You're going to get rid of this. <laughs> I don't know if Renee's here or not. But... Thank okay, you. You're welcome. Good luck to you. Thank you for I everything. Hope it works so much. I hope it does too. It's been like a long journey. Such a long journey. I never thought I'd actually get to this step. Seriously, but I appreciate you so much because you've been there every step, every tear, every I don't know, oh. <laughs> every step of the way. I'm like, can you please talk to me? Oh, I do appreciate you though. Seriously, well, good. Thank you. Let's hope we have happy tears next ah, time. To I hope so too. You guys, that was my last appointment before I transfer. Like, I am completely speechless right now. I can't believe this is actually happening. But that was my last appointment before I transfer. And as you guys can see, she was like, everything is beautiful. If you look up what your urine line is supposed to look like, this is what it's supposed to look like. Like, everything is aligning exactly what it needs to be. Like, I don't know what's going to happen after the transfer. And I'm so excited for that. I'm so ready for this baby. I'm just basking in every moment. So it's like crazy that I'm actually here. Because two years ago, I would never imagine me being here. Never. Like, with all the bad news and stuff, I would never imagine this will be the moment that I'm here. Take you there.